The Half finally made psychic navigation possible. I was there as a spawning with my broodmates when they finished it. I didn't really understand how it made navigation possible at the time, nor how many psychics gave their lives to be placed into the machine, their minds combined and artificially made to serve as a massive psychic beacon. All I remembered was the demonstration that showed what the half looked like to someone with the senses to perceive it. That massive ball of not quite light, somehow comforting despite the brightness. I also remembered the beacon, somehow even brighter when I turned around to face it, shining with a harshness in the far distance that startled me in contrast. The demonstrator said that we knew the half was possible because the beacon was there in the distance. Someone had done it before. That experience stuck with me. Stuck with me through my first swarming. Stuck with me through the gruelling training to be allowed onto non-leisure ships. Stuck with me even when I was made captain of my own ship, with my own crew and my own navigator. It was generally pleasant, but distant, in the way that all psychics tend to be. Something about being able to sense the minds of others, I suspect. It served me admirably until I was selected for my mission, where it chose to remain hooked up to the ship and stay with the crew. My new crew was the best of the best, and so was my new ship, all specially selected to finally traverse the distance to the beacon. We even had four navigators with us to ensure we could always stay in transit, one of whom came from my home world. She was barely recognisable under all the wiring and machinery, but it was pleasant to talk to someone who understood me, even if I couldn't understand her. The trip went as smoothly as we could have hoped, and only two of the navigators burned out under the strain of plotting the path to the system the beacon was in. I knew that there was little I could do until we reached it, so I spent the long journey getting to know my crew. Spirits were high, knowing we could finally get to the beacon and get back before the majority of us died of old age. Those fell when we breached the system. There was no Dyson Sphere in the system. No relays. No mega reactors. There was no way to power a half. We knew we were in the right place. The navigators don't make mistakes, but there was no sign of the enormous Molyb Danum Sphere that housed ours or anything else that could hold it. The theory was that the yellow star in the centre of the system was somehow sentient and giving off a mind that was so incalculably large that it was visible across the galaxy. To test this, my navigator friend tried to plot the path. It was immediate, so close to the beacon. She only managed to point out a local planet before burning out. I remember feeling the heat rise as I held her pedipalp as she plotted, as she burned. I still keep her name. The next step was to examine the planet, her last words hinted at. All readings were nominal. The planet was too small to hold a beacon inside, and subterranean scans confirmed that it was by all accounts a normal terrestrial planet. One of millions like it that we had seen before. It was like thousands of others that held life. It was like hundreds of others that held sapient life. It was like dozens of others that held life that progressed to the point where it was deemed ethical to interact with them. That life was... Rather ordinary from our standards. A chordate, quadrilimbed, bilateral form. They would fit in with dozens of other life forms that we knew of. What wouldn't fit, what would never fit, was what happened when we scanned for psychic capabilities. They were all psychic. Not even the average amounts that most species register around. Not even the amounts that our particularly gifted species has. Every one of them was akin to a navigator in strength, but without the training and without the machinery required for them to function. That massive force we had seen in the distance, had always seen, was a full biological half. 
a full civilization of people who shone so brightly that they were our beacon. As we observed them, it became obvious that they were largely untrained in their power, but it pervaded their lives. They took on the emotions of those around them. They worked in tandem without being told what to do. They knew when others of their kind were near. They took on one another's traits, even in interpersonal communication. It would be impressive if it wasn't so... horrifying. The half needed to know about this. About them. We took the time to drift far outside the system, to spare our last navigator the burden, and he plotted the path home. It's always easiest to follow paths made previously when navigating, but we still ended up a fair distance from home when he burned out. We drifted at our highest safe speed for a long time before we could signal someone. They thought us dead, and eagerly awaited our report when we made it to the half. The four dead navigators were of no consequence in the face of knowing what the beacon was. We delivered our report faithfully and concisely. We've never been back.